Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to give you an overview on Power BI service and this is the latest Power BI service overview in 2024. So without wasting any time, let's start the video. So as you can see on my screen, I am currently in the homepage of Power BI service. In the left, you can see the navigation bar and on the top you can see some settings so this is basically i am the account manager here this is just to improve the fabric so it's a feedback kind of thing this question mark is basically help and support from here you can basically find some content on power bi service and these are the forum topics and here you can submit an idea ask the community and get help let's move to this download option so from this download option you can download the power bi desktop app you can download the gateway you can download the paginated report builder and you can download Power BI for mobile and there are other apps like Power BI extension for PowerPoint. So here you can download these extensions. In the settings, we can see uh, preferences. In preferences, we have general settings, notifications, item settings, developer settings. Similarly, we have some resources and extension settings and this governance and insight settings where you can see this admin portal. Next, this notification. So notification basically shows you the notification from Power BI service. So I changed some tenant settings. For that only I got the notification which is saying tenant settings changes will be applied within the next 15 minutes. Here we have some recommended items. So here we have some Power BI reports from Power BI community. So you can check these reports. Next we have these three tabs for recent favorites and my apps. So in recent, these are the recent things uh, that I've interacted with. So these are the workspaces and these are the report. Next is favorite things. Here it will show you the list of things that you have marked it as, as a favorite. And here it will show you the apps built by you. Let's move to the create section. So if I click on this new report, it will take us to this second tab in the navigation pane, create. So let's go to the create section. From here, you can create your report and data set. So you can upload the Excel CSV or paste the data manually, or you can pick a published semantic model. Next is the browse section. So again, uh, in the browse sections, we have the three tabs, recent favorites and shared with me. So recent and favorites uh, you have already seen in the share with me. These are the reports that are shared with me. Next, let's move to the one lake data hub. From the one lake data hub, we can get the data set from which we can create our report. These are the recommended data set. In the recommended section, basically, I have the reports that I've published. If I go down in the all tab, I have all the data sets currently available. And in the my data, I have the same thing endorsed in your organization. So here you will find some uh, data sets that are endorsed in your organization. So endorsed basically is uh, the data set that is basically tested by the testing team. And then we can mark the data set as endorsed and everybody can use that data set in the organization. In the favorite, uh, see the data sets marked as favorite. Let's move to apps. So here you will see uh, the apps created by you or shared with you. Here we have get apps option as well. So, so here you have all kind of apps that is already available. You can download from here and use it. Next, I have this workspace section for a workspace. Currently, if I go to my workspace, so this is my workspace where I can uh, create my report and publish it, but we cannot share that report with others. For that, we'll have to go to this workspace. And here in the all section, you can see the list of workspaces that you are part of. And from here, you can create new workspaces as well. So let's go to this my project workspace. So let me give you an overview on the Power BI workspace as well. So in the Power BI workspace, you can see uh, this is the name of the workspace. And so here we have some new options. You can create a list of things from here. From this upload section, we can upload the PBIX or RDL files to this workspace. So PBIX is Power BI file and RDL is a paginated report file. And here uh, you will see a list of reports and semantic model that is data set. Here we have some options in this filter. We can filter the data set that we want. Like if I filter pizza, we can see uh, this pizza says dashboard. In the next tab, we have this filter. So here we can filter by report or filter by semantic model. Next, we have this list view. So currently it's a list view. If I go to lineage view, this will basically show you the report, uh, report lineage view. So if you want to see the source of the reports, you can uh, go to lineage view. So if I see this pizza sales dashboard is built on these CSV files. So these are the four CSVs on which pizza sales dashboard is built. So it is giving me a lineage view. From here, you can see that. Let's go back to the list view. On the header section of the workspace, you can see we have some options to create a deployment pipeline. So this is basically to test the report and data set and move to production workspace. From this create app option, we can create app and publish it so that we can share with others. From this manage access, we can grant or revoke access to users for this workspace. And from this workspace settings, we have some setting options like we can change the name of the workspace we can change the license of this workspace currently uh, this workspace is premium per user we can change it to pro and there are other workspace settings that we can choose from 
So that was pretty much an overview on Power BI service in 2024. So I hope you liked the video. So subscribe my channel if you want to stay tuned to my further uploads. Till then, goodbye and thanks for watching.